Hey, Steve Zook, welcome back to Poke Sue Channel uh, on YouTube and the Guitar Letter System. Um, I'm gonna, it's really hard to find a great uh, Epiphone Joe Pass. Most of them just don't ring out and they just don't have much of an orchestral tone unplugged, which, which is the real acid test. <clears throat> Excuse me, some of them sound okay plugged, but a great Joe Pass should have a nice tone unplugged like this. I'm just using a little Zoom Q3 with super small cheap mics, so you know, but you can hear it. You can hear the ring. That's unplugged. I'm, I'm not warmed up. And then, and then plugged in, you can hear this beautiful kind of L5. And I'm using an old solid state PV, paid 150 bucks for nothing else. I never seem to be able to get warmed up enough before I do these videos. Beautiful tone, even the back pickup. Yeah, this has got just a really beautiful, beautiful tone. It's probably, I probably got, I, I barely have any volume. Like, it's funny, I haven't played this guitar for probably a week, and I just picked it up, and it was just about perfectly in tune still, which is really, really nice. This is really a nice one. Yeah, it's $749. I can do it for $675. It comes with a used case. And folks, I work, I really don't make much money in my guitar business. I think it actually costs me money. I know it sounds crazy, like bullshit, but it's true. I just love chasing great guitars. I don't buy a guitar unless it has the magic, unless it has the mojo, and that's not bullshit. Because I really know guitars. I'm 68. I've been buying and selling guitars since I was about 20. And I have a lot of experience and nothing, you know, like I said, I've had, I've played a lot of Joe Passes and most of them are very, very weak in the mids and the mid bass. And you can really tell that when you play them unplugged. This one rings out. But it has a high end sound. Just sounds beautiful, man. And like I said, I always know a great guitar when the back pick up. I've, I've, when the back pickup sounds really musical too. But man, this has got a high end, high end sound. Just for the heck of it. I was going to do cycle one in the guitar ladder system from the book. There's actually two cycle ones. One, one cycle one from the guitar ladder system is this one. By the way, the guitar ladder system 
is organized to slide into your subconscious mind. That it's called progressive learning. Pat Metheny calls it that. And it, it, most people have no idea how powerful the subconscious mind is, and that's where you want to lead your teaching into because that's how great players like Joe Pass and Wes Montgomery learned, is by ear training and seeding the subconscious mind. But, but hear that tone? That, that's some real tone, man. I mean, you can hear the bass clear, you can hear the mid bass clear, beautiful mids, beautiful treble. I took a couple lessons from Ted Green, as did many good players, and he had one that kind of sounded like this. These, if you can find a good Joe Pass from the '90s, they punch way, way above their price point. You know, I think they use thicker layers of wood, like thicker layers of, you know, not just a super thin laminate type of layers, but super. You can you can kind of feel it. But yeah, this guitar just sounds beautiful. <laughs> I took from Ted Green, he's like, turn the volume down, turn the tone down, get a little more like, but anyway. See, four chords are really cool. Four chords are chords, you know, off of chordal harmony, and the guitar ladder system teaches the ten different systems of improvisation, but in a very organic way. They're included in the studies. We don't need to map it out and push it into the left brain. But uh, you know, four chords, and when you do it like a chord like this, if you look at it in C, you know, you're adding, you're adding, a, uh, you know, it's from here to here is, is a perfect fourth, from here is perfect fourth, here perfect fourth and then you're adding a, uh, a major third on the top but, but but four chords just go together beautiful you know and of course the trick is to improvise and see where you can go I don't have my book in front of me but oh there it is I've got all these cycles rolling around my head it's hard to keep track that's cycle one from the, my book, Modern Chord Cycles for the Guitar, and all that information is included in the Guitar Ladder System. Right now, the Guitar Ladder System is 100 studies. If you order soon, I'll throw in some bonus material. I don't send it all at once. But see, the four chords just go together so nice, and then they connect with the dominant 13 to the 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9. But um, yeah, this is really a nice guitar. Yeah, the the if you could, it's it's you know I've said a million times. People always email me. What's better, this or that, this or that? You got to take each guitar on an individual basis. Every this one's clean too. Every, every guitar is a little bit different. This one's made in Korea. Most of the great Joe passes are. But yeah, the older one. I mean, even you think if a guitar made in the '90s, that's got some age to it, and it makes a difference. The wood was higher quality, less pollutants. You know, in the air and the water. I would love to keep this. Every time I get a great Joe Pass and I sell it, I'm kind of bummed because I, I love him, you know. And I studied with Joe Pass a little bit. And he used to always say, let's let this truck go by. Joe Pass used to always say, simplify your thinking, stop thinking all the time, listen, you know, uh, you know, do chordal studies to get your, to kind of wake up your musical ear and, and discover your own harmonic point of view. He didn't quite put it that way. He wasn't the most verbal guy in the world. It's one of my favorite chords, the major 13. It's all about learning chord family. See, the major 13 goes really nice to the 7 sharp, 5 sharp, 9. You can go to a 13, 9, 13, 13 flat, 9, to a bi chord. But see, this guitar, this guitar has a... This guitar has just an orchestral range. I like to call it kind of a piano tone. And then, like I said, even, even, uh, I know it's probably a little hard to hear, even unplug. That's 
a great tone, you know. And then when you add a little bit of, what I like to do is have the volume really low so you get a little of the, uh, see how I have a little of the acoustic. Yeah, you're going to learn about polychords, intervallic improvisation, symmetry, flat five sub, secondary, dominant, contrary, motion, diatonic, all that, but not in an intellectual sense where we put it in a box and define it. We're, 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 you're going to experience those improvisational tools in my studies, and that's why your subconscious mind can compare and contrast and take you to another level that you'll never get out with the, without the guitar letter system, you know. Right now, I'm not really doing samples because it just I, I can't waste the time. And I don't mean to sound like a jerk, but you know, people ask for a few samples, and and I don't have time to send three or four or five follow up emails and follow up phone calls. All I can say is that if you're thinking about doing the guitar ladder system, you really love music, you really love guitar, you want to wake up your musical ideas and the musical um, you know genius within you. Which don't get nervous about that word. It just means you come up with your own musical point of view. When I used to do trade shows, people used to always come by and watch me play. Many of them were pretty good players too, and they used to say things like, "Well, I'm too, uh, I'm too predictable," you know. And so uh, it's about discovering your unique musical point of view because no matter what music you want to play, uh, you know, you need to kind of get a foundation. You need to understand the language of it, and there's no better way to do that than the chordal studies, you know. But anyway, a great guitar really helps. This this is really nice, Joe Pass. I, I'm really gonna miss it, and it looks great too. Obviously, the gold is you know faded. It's it's an older guitar, but it it looks. Somebody took really good care of this one. I bought, I bought, I bought a couple guitars from somebody, and the man was in his 80s, but he had a really good eye and a really good ear. It's obvious. Everything I bought from him was really nice, and he, he obviously knew how to pick out a great guitar, and that's that's important, you know. But anyway, see everything you do, like here, major, major 13, I'm sorry, major 7 to a major 13. That's a, that's a nice... Anyway, this is a really beautiful guitar. I gotta cut this video down. I love to do the augmented on this guitar. It's it's not easy to find a great guitar. Period. I don't care what brand, what model, whatever. But yeah, in fact, I actually bought a Gibson L5 once from Mundell Lowe, the great jazz player, and he he even said he loves a good Joe Pass if you can find one. But they're not easy to find. A lot of them just are kind of dead unplugged, and the ones that are kind of dead unplugged don't sound as good plugged either. But when you can find one like this, or even even unplugged, you know, that's unplugged, and you can. Hear that ring? That's with no amp at all. Now if I add a little bit. I love that tone with a, a little bit of, of amp and, a, and then you can still hear the guitar. a modern sound. One, two, three, four, five. So you go from G to C sharp. See, it's all about 
waking up your ear, learning inside, outside. Like I said, learning the 10 different systems of improvisation, but not in a definitive way where you shove it into a box into your left brain. We seed the subconscious mind. Those seeds grow. You, cr you create like a, like a, a folder, like a, a, you know, like a neuro folder uh, in your subconscious mind. And then it will take, it will compare like study one to study eight and study eight to study 11. And it's just amazing that the emails I get from people are just amazing with the growth, but uh, you just got to take a little leap of faith. My suggestion is go to Steve Zook, do a Google search for Steve Zook Bandcamp, listen to some of my original music, maybe go to um, Vintage Guitar Magazine, just go vintageguitar.com, put in Steve Zook, read the review of my CD. Folks, I know what I'm doing. It would be the best $1.99 you ever spend excuse my enthusiasm but it really works so you know if you're feeling a hunch or you just wake up one morning and thinking yeah, I, i'm going to invest in the guitar ladder system do it it's going to really pay off for you i don't send it all at once but it works you can buy it at steve zook guitars uh, dot com if you have any trouble ordering let me know but yeah this is a This guitar is just musical, man. My dog wants out, and it just looks beautiful too. And I've, I've, I dialed it in. I set this thing up. I'm pretty damn good at setups on arch tops, and I just got it just absolutely purring. It just plays beautifully. This is really a nice guitar. Very, like I said again, very hard to find a musical Joe Pass that rings out. This one does. You can text me or call 714-548-0385 or email me stevezook7 at yahoo.com uh, or pokesu at gmail.com. Again, uh, the other email is stevezook, the number seven, not spelled out at yahoo.com. I think I had this at 749. I dropped it to 675. It's worth every dime. This this is a great guitar. I know I sound like I'm overselling, but that's because it's really hard to find a great guitar. This guitar has a lot of uh, a lot of really high quality Gibson in it as well. All right, folks, take care. Let's all stay positive. Let's keep the faith because the universe is perfect by design. Don't let this point in time make you believe that the universe is not on purpose. It is and always has been and always will be. The universe is not stuck at this point in time. Ciao.